Bob Raffi, I'm the art director at Naughty Dog, and behind me is Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This game was created with the original team that did Crash Bandicoot, and it's our first project on the PlayStation 2. And this game is something that we're really excited about. It was developed for a year and a half. It's a non-linear gameplay, and you have various tasks to solve. And as you go forward, you see that there's a very involved story. We have in our world a lot of uh, technology and mystery that has been left behind by the precursors who are somehow involved in the creation of this universe. Nobody really knows why it's there, but our main character, Jack, which is what the player controls, is special enough to be able to unlock these mysteries. It's got continuous worlds. There is uh, eight times of day change. There's no load time. At any given time, we're pushing anywhere from uh, 20 to 50 times more polygons than you ever saw in Crash. And the sky's the limit with PlayStation 2. It really is unbelievable the amount of uh, muscle we're getting out of the system. Jack and Daxter, Precursor Legacy. Look for it in stores this holiday season. Richard Fogey. Uh, the game that we're looking at here is Kinetica. It's a fast action racing game. It takes place in the future. Focus on this new style of racing where the bikes have been combined with the humans in this sort of an armored suit where the wheels are attached to them so that they're right in there with the speed. And they can all do these high-flying, really acrobatic daredevil stunts as they're racing around on these futuristic tracks. There's multiplayer aspects so you can really get into the competitive nature of the game, really head-to-head -head on the racing. One of the key things for any racing game is keeping the frame rate really solid. When the final game ships, 60 across the board, which really makes for a smoother playing experience of the racing game. The player can really get uh, much more control over their racer and much more control over what they're doing. And, and then the, the interaction is better. Kinetica, coming on the PlayStation 2, Fall 2001, check it out. More, and I'm the president and lead designer of Surreal Software, working on Draken 2, which you see behind me. It is a third-person action-adventure game where you play Rin, who's a uh, heroic female character, is very athletic. She can engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, summon spells using a magic system, and then the coolest part is is that you can get on Aeroc, who is your dragon counterpart, and fly around, take to the skies, and engage in intense aerial combat. He has a great flight dynamic. Uh, we spent a lot of time tuning the flight control, so it's very fluid, and you really feel like you're in flight, but it's yet still very easy to control. One of the coolest things about the PlayStation 2 is it allows us to render these enormous landscapes. Begin the game after Draken 1 ended, where your brothers died, you're burying the villagers of your town who are laid to waste by hordes of evil creatures. You're supposed to summon the Dragon Mother, who is the final creature, and she'll help restore peace and tranquility to the rest of the world. Check out Draken Fall 2001. U.S. Navy SEALs is a uh, military action game that we're developing for the PlayStation 2. It's a team-based game. So in both single player and multiplayer, the object is to use your teammates in order to accomplish the mission objectives. Another one of the features that we're really excited about with SOCOM is the online capabilities. SOCOM is going to be one of the first games released this fall that supports the Sony analog broadband adapter. You'll be able to connect through the internet to our game servers and be able to join games with people who are already there. We're also able to work in collaboration with Naval Special Warfare to consult with them and capture what it's like to be a U.S. Navy SEAL. We were also able to go out to the ranges with them and shoot some of the uh, guns. So when you play the game, you're really going to get a feel for the realism and authenticity. SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs will be available this fall exclusively for the PlayStation 2. I'm the assistant producer on Okage. Okage is basically a role-playing game. Really the most impressive features of the game are the art style and the attack system. The art style is really unique. The characters look really expressive. It's kind of Euro European and dark. I'm kind of 
accentuates the way the characters are. The characters have really defined personalities, and their interactions with each other is another highlight of the game. Also, it's very different than most RPGs where one character attacks, then an enemy attacks. Basically, in this game, everyone attacks at the same time. So it looks like a big melee going on on screen. Really, really exciting. Really different than most RPGs. And I think it will really set it apart. Kaga will be available late summer, early fall on the PlayStation 2. is an online DJing game. It allows you to build a song with friends, an existing tune, and remix it together online. So you have an eight-sided tunnel. Each side of the tunnel represents a different instrument. And gems come down that side of the tunnel, and you got to match the beat of the gems and capture the music and create it as you go along. You'll be able to go online and meet up with friends and through various chat rooms and actually play the game with four other people. They can each take a side of the track or a different instrument and play together. You also have a great remixing function. You connect online via your PlayStation 2. You can actually take an existing song and remix it with your friends all at the same time. Frequency will be available coming this November on PlayStation 2. I'm Ron Allen from Sony Computer Entertainment America. The game behind me is Eco, and it's a third-person action-adventure game set in a uh, fantasy environment. It's an epic adventure of a boy born with horns who is in prison in a castle, and he escapes this imprisonment and tries to find his way out of the castle. On his journey, he finds the princess of the castle, and um, he's actually trying to leave the girl out. This game offers new gameplay, first time ever seen on uh, actually any type of game. You're actually leading a girl all the way through the game. And there's a lot of puzzle elements, a lot of uh, action elements as well, and there's fighting. And we took advantage of the PlayStation 2 technology by uh, using inverse schematics on the hand holding, holding the arms. All the in-game cutscenes is all real time. There's no CG in this game at all. There's no load times. It's uh, seamlessly together. The streams all the way through the game. For people who like adventure games, this is going to be a great title. It goes coming out on PlayStation 2 this fall. Check it out. Jewett, uh, Never Stopped Entertainment, working on Tony Hawk 3 for the PlayStation 2. We're doing the online play with the game. We've all been playing it for three years every single day, and it's suddenly like a whole new thing because you've yeah, got your character on the entire screen, three other characters playing against you, and it's just like completely brings the whole thing to life again for me. It's pretty awesome. One of the things that we have working in the online thing is if two skaters collide, Whoever has the most momentum is the guy that remains standing. If you run into somebody else in the middle of a, of a huge trick string, you can wipe their whole score pot clean, and you added that bonus into your combo, totally flushing out the creative skater thing. So there's tons of different parts. You can scale your character, change the colors, and basically doing everything we did in the previous games, but more, better, PS2 online. We're gonna be there for Christmas, guys. Hope you like it. I'm Ben Brinkman with EA Sports Big. NBA Street is three on three basketball. The first one to 21 wins the game. But along the way, you're encouraged to do a, a, as many tricks as you can. It reflects the attitude of what's going on on the street. Uh, the players are just over-the-top competitors, talk a little trash. How are you going to shoot over this? They make a great shot. They'll point their finger and let you know how great they are. You can goaltend. There's no fouls. So you're kind of encouraged to take the ball hard inside and dunk the ball or get as close as you can because there could be a guy just sitting in front of the basket. You know, if you pull off a really good trick and he's not expecting it, he'll fall over and you'll have a clear line to the basket. So tricks are just as important as scoring baskets. They give you momentum 
to pull off what's called a game breaker. And a game breaker is essentially a tug of war. Say you make a two point basket, you get two points, your opponent loses two points. There's six unique players which we created, as well as five players from all 30 NBA teams. NBA Street, it's street basketball, it's coming at you on the PlayStation 2 late this June. Go look for it in the store near you. Thorson from Director of Marketing from Capcom Entertainment. We are today looking at uh, Devil May Cry, the brand new gothic thriller from Mikami, who's the creator of the Resident Evil series. Devil May Cry. It's really a legendary story of Dante, who is a 2,000 year old part human, part demon. He battles against the devil and trying to fight for the forces of good to save mankind. He has the ability to transform into a demon state where he really can uh, inflict massive attacks. What's great about the game is actually the fast action gameplay. So you're battling with a sword, you're battling with guns. You take a demon, slash him with a sword, at the same time throw him up there, blast him with your guns. The pace of the game is just absolutely amazing. Stunning graphics, it all comes together just for an incredible game experience. Don't Make Cry is coming for uh, PlayStation 2 November 14th, so look for it then. It's going to be a great release. I'm a producer here at IDOS Interactive, and this is uh, Herdy Gurdy, one of our PlayStation 2 titles. You uh, play as the character Gurdy. You're a young apprentice herder, and you have to learn all sorts of different herding skills, and you have to herd all these different kinds of animals into their pen in order to uh, compete in a tournament at the end of the game against the bad guy who's actually put a spell on your father, who's kind of the head main herder of this magical island that you live on. Gertie Gertie will be available for the PlayStation 2 this November. Hi, my name is uh, Sato. Uh, I'm a director of uh, you know, CGI feature of uh, Silent Hill 2. Uh, it should be totally different from Silent Hill. This time, you know, Silent Hill is no longer just a game. This is, uh, I think, more than a novel and a movie. This time, the you know, main hero came back to uh, Silent Hill because uh, his dead wife, he found a lot of monsters. He's scared, but he decided to fight. Thanks to uh, PS2, we can uh, finally express the you know, monster, you know, flashlight, and uh, like a fog. So real. That makes that game so horrifying. That hardware, you know, swept out all of the restrictions. We can now finally made it perfect. Silent Hill 2 on PS2 will come out fall 2001. Jason Enos from Konami. We're here at the Konami booth checking out Metal Gear Solid 2. This time around, Snake is back and it's badder than ever. The graphics are insane. The realism is incredible. You can do so many more things with Snake now that you couldn't do with Metal Gear Solid 1. The PlayStation 2's hardware is so powerful that everyone is just awed by this game. The uh, graphics in general are incredible. The level of detail on the environments and the characters are much stronger and more real. I mean, they just look so odd, like human. This is clearly going to take the Metal Gear Solid experience to a whole new level. So gamers, be on the lookout for Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty on the PlayStation 2. This is going to be the hottest game this 
fall, no question.